are you today? How old are you today? I hope I can be like my mom, be a star. Oh hell no, boo motherfucker! Did I scare you? Hopefully I did, cause today we playing Devotion, another horror game. Apparently this game was banned off the internet because of some type of Chinese propaganda or whatever the case may be, and that's pretty much all I know. So we're gonna hop straight into it. I am very interested in seeing what this game is about, because I know a lot of people play this game like back when. I haven't watched nobody play it, so I don't know what's going on. I just seen a lot of people talking about it got banned and stuff like that. So that's. Pretty much all I know is it got banned from uh, Baba, I guess Taiwan. Yes, I'm still watching TV. These sound effects sound crazy. 不过今天主任打来，说美心在学校又跌倒了。哎，你不要又跑到学校跟主任反映哦。小孩子本来就是跌跌撞撞才会长大嘛。True. 对了，下次提醒我买点水果送给老师。他的老师那边就整个人都变活泼了。我觉得这就是功德吧。嗯。So our daughter tripped and fell in school. Are we having a heart attack or a panic attack or something? Hopefully, the recording is getting the screen shaking. We got a bowl of slop. I don't know what she is. She probably died from eating that bowl of slop. It was like the school lunch, you know, the chicken and rice. Well, my, you know, my Americans, you know, the school lunch where you get a chicken and rice, and sometimes it don't look so appetizing, and sometimes it, it hit. That's what that looked like. Okay, so we in it. Oh, we got save two. What's this? Mei Xing's doodles. A drawing done by Mei Xing. Li Fang's photo. Li Fang's solo photo. Her, I don't know how to say that. Cute paw dress. Help establish her iconic image. Okay. I don't know why it's showing up that I got a controller in because I don't. Um, can we turn that off? No. You can't turn it back on either. It is dark as hell in here. Hold on real quick. I had to turn my monitor brightness up real quick. It is storming outside. Like, what the hell? That shit is loud. Oh, it's this big bright red door right here. And the TV came back on. But I do know, apparently, this is one of the scarier indie horror games. And apparently, it was banned because um, it has some type of propaganda in it or something like that. Like, for... um. Taiwanese people, I guess, or their culture. Something happened in here. I don't like. I said I don't know much about it. We got a rabbit. Year of the rabbit, 1987. Going to open that up. Oh, is this the same room? It is the same room. So it's one of those games where you, it's like you just keep traveling back and forth to the same thing. So I'm guessing there's going to be something in here that I need to grab or something like that. I'm not sure. We can't run either. That's good to know. Hopefully there's nothing that's going to chase us. Let's go down here because I'm guessing this is where we got to go. Machine's room. Oh, okay. So that's our daughter's room. What is that? Bathroom. All right, machine, machine. It is dark as hell in here. A red umbrella. You know what this remind me of? Of like it with a red uh, parka. 
or where uh, the, the yellow poncho but here is a red umbrella what the fuck is that machine shoe why is it blood dripping in her shoe oh shit gotta turn around machine machine it was good it was good but it wasn't good enough to make me scream so we're just gonna continue on act like that never happened year of the monkey 1980 year of the monkey is kind of crazy 1980 key found in the mailbox it's labeled 1980 well i will assume it goes there there we go I really don't know why it has um like PlayStation controls on it. Hold on, real quick. A creepy ass radio. Script moving in. Screenwriter, Do Fang Yu. Episode one, scene one. Living hall, daytime interior, close up. The husband carries a potted plant over to the window and places it on the sill. Husband smiling. People say the tulips symbolize elegance and sweetness just like our child wife like you know our child hasn't been born yet all right let's finish organizing and get dinner ready the flower isn't blooming anytime soon so let's eat soup's getting cold the couple arranges their new home together they hang her paintings on the empty wall set his medals on the cabinet and place their china on the shelves with a human touch the empty ab abode abide whatever the fuck that is Beginning to fill in more like home. After adjusting some furniture, the husband returns to the living hall and finds his wife waiting for him with a gift. So that's a script to, I guess they was writing movies or writing plays. Is that our wife? She kind of bad. Photo of Lai Lei Feng in her glory days. Signature of the film crew adorned the picture. Yeah, she bad. We had a baddie on our hands. She want a trophy? Uh, another trophy to add to the proud collection. Porcelain bowls. Bowls found in packing. Turn that, turn that, turn that off. Turn that off, pal. I can't. Right, let's continue on. So, whoa. I don't like this yellow looking color. It's kind of, kind of foggy. Oh, so he put the dishes in there, I would assume. Lei Fang, honey, what's going on here? Hanging nail. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, no. Yeah, we're gonna hang a picture. So we're getting flashbacks. Why is my face cropped out the picture? Why? Why? Oh, why? Okay, so the trophy goes here. A collection of best screenwriter trophies. Machine. Then I pop out that goddamn room. Oh, somebody fried the fuse box, didn't they? What is this? Ballerina doll. Decorative doll made of icing. So like a cake um, thingy. I just gotta make sure. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on, dog? Is that is that our wife singing? She has a beautiful voice. Yes, I love your gift. Lee Fang. Fang is a crazy name because I've been playing Tekken and Fang is a dude. Okay, so lighter is space bar. My, de my dear Fang Yu. This is the lighter you've always wanted. 
You must have been exhausted from all the, all the unpacking. Get some rest. I want you to know that I'll support you always. Happy Father's Day, your loving wife. So our name is Fang Yu and her name is Lee Fang. Oh, look at Mei Sheen. So cute, bro. I don't even have no kids, bro. But Mei Sheen, what the fuck is that? That fake ass bird. That shit is annoying. Look at all her trophies, bro. Our wife was amazing, bro. Just amazing. I hope y'all having a great day, though. I, I like this game because apparently it's not. It's very much so story driven. And I like that in hard games. You don't always need jump scares, even though it was a jump scare. But you don't always need jump scares. You don't always need it to just be, you know, 100% scary or whatever. I'm really interested in trying this new Silent Hill game. I know a lot of people have been talking about it, but I never got a chance to play the original because probably wasn't even fucking born or probably was too young to even know. Yeah, I heard a lot of people saying they're not really fond of how the new one looks, but I think I'm going to give it a shot, though. What the fuck? Who the hell are y'all? Is this us like clay figures or why? Why is our face cut out of every fucking photo? Like, what the fuck? Let's see how tall she been getting. I don't know how to calculate that. Cause I think that's centimeters. What the fuck were we doing? School correspondence journal, Monday, February 24th, 1986. Homework, channel one, Chinese vocabulary. Arithmetic practice, A, page seven and page eight. Daily journal. The day I clean my room and daddy helped me put all my toys away. My room has a very big bed. I can play house on top of it. Teacher's comments. You should try cleaning your room yourself. Damn. I can help her. I can help my daughter clean her fucking room. Fuck you. Teacher. Xin Wei Zhong. Quiz score. Vocabulary. 95 points. Baby smart. Math. 97 points. Parent signature. Do. Our baby smart. Okay. What the hell are y'all watching? Y'all not even watching them. This is crazy, bro. What is that blood? How the fuck is fuck is it blood in there for? What the fuck? Nigga, use oh, what the fuck? She about to stab his ass? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Bitch, you better not be right there. Let's go. Where's our baby, bro? A small chair used when playing. Look at that. Goddamn timer. Them little things is creepy, bro. That's still a lot. Oh, we was taking a family photo. Polaroid camera. I remember once owning a Polaroid camera. Let me just put it back. Look at her, bro. Ceramic doll. A doll used when playing house. So we take the doll from her, and I guess we have to put the doll in a chair. Now this game is starting to get creepy, bro. I ain't even going to hold you. I ain't even going to hold you. All right, inventory. Let's put the doll there. So this is supposed to be pretend machine. What the fuck? Why are you staring at her like a creep? Look at him. Look at her in the back. Why are you holding the side of her face? What is this? Birthday garb. The birthday garb is a ceremony performed for a baby who's reached one year of age. In ancient times, the chances of a baby dying young were high. That's crazy, bro. 
it was rare to reach the age of one that's crazy it was rare to to, to be the age one that's that's insane bro let me finish reading though so it was a cause for celebration therefore in present times to honor the ancestors and anticipate a safe and healthy future for the baby the ceremony has become an important custom is this true though like do y'all really do this in taiwan because ain't this game based in um a taiwanese horror game or whatever y'all let me know in the comments if y'all from taiwan people believe the pl that placing people believe that placing various items in front of the baby and seeing what it grabs can predict what type of career the baby will have in the future commonly used items including a pen pen ink paper enamel and a biscuits garden tools seals etc other items including homophonic homophonic objects that correspond for their career or traits garlic sounds like calculate in chinese and can represent an accounting career onion sounds like smart and can represent an intellectual career the direction of a child development of great significance to parents especially in modern times parents accept a lot from a child's early education and it is wise to cultivate the child's interests and expertise from a young age to develop and head start in his or her career so they're choosing what the baby is going to do from birth that's crazy we got here a piano can we play something play a little ray charles you know what i'm saying is there anything else in here she's a pretty little baby though got some crayons besides singing machine also loves doodling okay you still look creepier than ever we're just gonna move it move along oh we could finally go in the bathroom the fuck is in here piano song book machine's piano practice book oh so she played piano why is it handprints on the on the mirror what else is in here nothing okay gonna be down there y'all still sitting right there like some creeps okay what we about to play a tune at least they got a yamaha they got a yamaha in here you so much you're my baby girl all right these motherfuckers disappeared oh lord oh we got the um the little ice on top the ballerina girl oh what a cute kid why does it say four and nine I thought she was one I'm not gonna call her a bitch because she our daughter, but look at her. What is this? Oh, 
Hold on real quick. Let me. I hear you knocking on a goddamn door. It's creepy as hell that she just sitting there looking. Bro, I'm coming, motherfucker. You son of a bitch. You ain't even want none. Just being loud for no fucking reason. All right, it ain't nothing in there. Just got to make sure. But we end up having to backtrack for something. What the fuck? What's this? Script, birthday, narration. And so today they celebrate the child's birthday as candle light the cozy room, the joy of family and peace, peaceful celebration. Husband, my sweet child, what a gift. What gift would you prefer? Father will grant you anything. Child, I'm grateful, father. Mother, but I don't wish for a gift. I just want our family to be meritful and content. Narration. For the children, such as an ordinary moment would be especially cherished if you like to know why we must talk about the strange illness. So May Sheen was sick is what I'm getting from reading this script and which would make sense because they said that they normally don't survive past one, but she made it to one, but she probably died shortly after, which is insane, bro. It's pretty fucking sad. Why is this green? Surgery. And this is a uh, moose year of the ox 1985. I said moose. I was close. I was close. All right, let's open this door up. So machine was sick. Wash hands before entering. This is crazy. Is she crying? God damn, it's a tsunami outside, ain't it? A fucking monsoon. The wind and the rain beats relentlessly on the window. Like during a typhoon. Oh, it's a typhoon. I was right. Something, a serious fucking storm, god damn it. Why did they put tape on the windows though? If anybody know why they did that, let me know in the comments. Does that actually help? And they did some rearranging to the house because the TV was right there at first. And now it's not right there no more. I hear you, Machine. I'm about to wash my hands, baby girl. I'm gonna be in there in a little bit, baby girl. I promise. Let me wash my hands. Bro didn't even put soap on his hand. What the fuck? Is this supposed to symbolize him having blood on his hands for his daughter dying? If it is, I'm an expert detective. I'm an expert detective. If that's what that's supposed to symbolize. Bro, you got a whole bar of soap right there and you didn't even touch it. You didn't. I saw you. I am you. Okay, machine. I'm coming in. There's a note on the door, but it's too dark to see it clearly. Let's put a fire out there. Wash your hands before entering. I did. Oh, look at her, bro. She got one eye open like she's drowsy and shit like this. Oh, did we just have to pull a plug on her? No fucking way, bro. I don't think I will be able to make this call in real life if this is what I think that we're doing right now. I don't think I will be able to do this to my child if they were sick. Yeah, she's gone, bro. That's so fucking sad. Oh my God, bro. Normally I'm like, you know, joking around and shit like this. I didn't think that this game would, you know, 
do this to me emotionally. I don't have any kids, but that's fucking crazy, bro. Name. Do Mation medical records, medical record number. I'm stumbling over my words. 30018. Gender, female, age 10. Oh, so she was 10 years old. Department, thoracic specialist. Chest tightness, difficulty breathing. Medical order, medical order. Patient's x-ray and blood work analysis. Normal, no physical ailments observed. Recommend. So they didn't even know what was wrong with her. X-ray film found in the case folder. So they couldn't even figure out what was actually wrong with her. But she passed away. So she was 10 years old. Boom. 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 There we go. I was confused for a little bit. But we had to build it out. So what was wrong with her, bro? I'm genuinely curious now. Like, what was wrong with Machine? Hello? Bang whom speaking? Wait. It's crazy how they only had her talking in the left headphone because the phone was in the left headphone. That was tough. What the hell is this music? Let's just keep going. What the hell is this? Is that machine? Hey, guess we go upstairs. Fuck it. I feel really, really fucking bad, bro. I don't even want to finish this game now because it's so fucking sad, but like, I already paid my money, bro. So it's not going to change anything. And I already, I'm like 40 minutes in, bro. I don't know how long it is. Hopefully it ain't too much longer. Okay. So this is like how the room was when we first started, where we had the panic attack. So we just sit down in a chair. Okay. That's us. That's me, Sheen. What? Why she didn't start singing? What? I wanted to see my baby girl in action. Fucking Buddha. Oh, that's creepy as hell. What the fuck? What the hell? Are we about to drown in this bitch? 
Let me out this motherfucker, Buddha. Let me out this motherfucker. Oh, we literally about to drown, bro. This game is not even as scary as I thought it would be. It's more the story is fucking crazy. It kind of reminds me of Still Wakes the Deep a little bit, but just with no talking. Like the story is fucking good. Meishin, I see you. You got the same yellow dress on. Come here, baby girl. I'm sorry. So I'm glad I didn't keep going. Collect the fragments of the past transfer transverse into flawless presence. So I got to go back. So I'm guessing it seemed like devotion. If I had to take a guess. Oh shit. If I had to take a guess, it means that basically Bro gave all his time. Yeah, we got to find those. Bro gave all his time to his job and his work, and he was neglecting his wife and and machine, which caused machine probably to get sick or Friday, August 8th, 1980. Or he didn't notice machine was getting what the fuck? It's fucking coffee pot. He didn't notice machine was getting sick. This shit about to catch on fire, bro. Let me finish what I was saying. He didn't know machine was getting sick because he was so focused on his job. He wasn't paying attention to his wife and his kid. That's all I was trying to say. Wife's notes and to do list. The J Emperor deity assigns a pair of household guardians, a husband and a wife, demi god couple, to watch over a fam family's home. Before moving in, welcoming ceremony must be performed for the guardians to ensure a family's health, fortune, and peace. 5 a.m. Buy at the market fish, chicken, pork belly, blanched, sweet rice balls, radish, a symbol of luck, soda, rice cake, red envelopes, incense, spirit, money, liquor, rice, wine, three cups of fill, three cups filled, four fifths of the way, apples for guests. Pineapple ceremony use. 7 a.m. Preparation. Clean spray yin yang water. Attach red pepper to furniture. Spread coins into room corners. Put tokens in water jugs. Set up mahjong. Prepare olong tea for aunt. White tea for uncle. Herb tea for grandma. Make sweet rice balls for guests. Buy all new cooking utensils. Must be finished by the afternoon. So I'm guessing this is the party right here. I don't like this shit, bro. A bunch of random people better not pop out. We just cross into a different dimension, brody. Is there anything else we need to grab? That it said we had to get like apparently we gotta grab like some pieces of stuff. We got some shoes. Red shoes. Letter from wife's friend to Lei Fang. Are you doing well? I was glad to receive your letter. Your friends in the business are saddened to hear of your decision to leave the movie industry. Remember when we all were younger? Your showbiz sisters made a promise to fly high together, but after you started a family, re reality cut the dream short. Damn, that's sad, bro. She gave up her career to be a mother, and he didn't give up his career. Maybe not give it up, but you know what I mean. He didn't put the same amount of effort in to his whatever. He just 100% focused on his career while she gave up her dream, which is fucked up. Uh, 
As your f- good friend, I understand your uh, predicament, and I can't help but guess that your family's decision to sell their ancestral home must merely be a temporary fix to deeper problem. Please remember that we will always support you, no matter what you do. You are welcome to come back to us at any time, and we wish you and your family peace and prosperity. Yeah, so I'm guessing that that's what it is. Bro was selfish. We were selfish, and we lost our wife and our kid for it. The title track of the album is Lady of the Pier. It's the theme song for Lei Fang's breakout movie. Yeah, bro, you you did it to your fucking self. Yep, you spent all that time working and... We just ignore her. We wouldn't even look at our daughter. That's crazy. Bro, your work was not that important. I promise you, gang. It's never that serious. Nigga, play with your fucking daughter, you bum ass nigga. And now he getting pissed. Oh, he drinking too. Man, super bothering me, man. Nigga, you suck. We suck. This is my secret hideout. The password of my favorite picture. The password is all my favorite picture. Shining star key key connected the dots. My computer is fucking heating up too. So I might have to cut this video short. These horror games always make my computer fucking feel like they're about to explode, bro. What is this? Flower pot note. You've turned my deepest misery into a comforting flower. So where is the goddamn picture? It's still crazy to me that he did all of that. She was doing so good in her job, her career field. You know, sometimes you got to sacrifice for the greater good. As long as both of y'all were being good parents, I feel like it would have went a whole lot smoother. Tale of CGU Gunner and Spirit Serpent. According to the legend, it's happened in a small village of southern Ujjain. I don't know how to say that. There once lived a poor farmer whose son was, was too frail to work in the fields. Instead, he was sent to the Buddhist temple to train as a novice monk. Gradually, he became stronger and occasionally joined home to assist his father and tend to their crops. One day, while working in the fields, they came upon a massive striped snake. Apprehensive at first, they approached it slowly, but soon came to understand that it bore them no malice. It would drive away pests like insects and mice, guaranteeing the farmer a good harvest for many successive years. Camera stand. So it must be a camera somewhere. Letter from an old friend. Mr. Dave Fang. I'm going to just call it nigga Fang. Your screenplay, The Lives I've Lived, have been rejected by six directors. Oh, so you suck. So your screenplay that lives, your screenplay, The Lives That I've Lived, have been rejected by six directors. May I suggest you drop that fruitless obsession and seriously consider coming up with a new script. If any offense has been taken, I beg your forgiveness. Wishing you the very best, your friend, Ding Hong D. So bro is writing bullshit scripts. That man was writing uh, Michael Bay films and shit. The fuck is that? The fuck is with that music? Good evening, listeners. Good 
的习惯还是很奢侈，总是吃了大鱼大肉，梦想就可以翻身。我该怎么办？该怎么劝他务实一点？其实呢，小雨，人是很难改变的。承认挫败对他来说太难了，他宁可假装光鲜亮丽，还没收拾好行李，就急着邀亲朋好友来炫耀新房子。都几点了，他在那床上呼呼大睡，只剩在又吵又急的厨房，收拾他们喝完的酒杯。比起你。似乎他更宝贝自己的面子，不是吗 ？So I was right, bro. I was right. Bro decided to choose his career over his wife and his kid, and ended up losing both. Like, and you wrote a shitty ass movie, like. They didn't even approve of the movie that you spent all your time working on. Like I get it, you love your craft. You know it's the same thing with YouTube, right? I could put out a video and I think it's the best fucking video in the world, and y'all let me know that the video is ass because y'all don't watch it, and I can see the retention, so I know if y'all watch it for thirty seconds or what's the average view duration or whatever. But this nigga shit didn't even make it to the big screen. His shit didn't even make it off the director's desk. The director said, "Man." Get that shit out of here, man! Lame ass script. Go home to your wife and kid, nigga. Alright, what's in this pot? Flower pot. It ain't nothing else in here. So it's the birthday picture code. So it's zero, seven, sixteen. There we go. Let's go. What the fuck? Bro, then climbed into the. What the fuck is this? Chronicles of Narnia? Ain't that the shit? Chronicles of Narnia? Where they went through the goddamn closet and then ended up in a whole different universe? Oh, shit. Is we drunk? Like, bro, walking like he got damn. He's stumbling. Mason, what are you talking about? I know we didn't give you no time. We didn't give you no affection, no nothing. But I think he was just yapping. Oh, we about to perform? Who the fuck is that? Oh, so This game is fucking good, bro. How have I never played this shit? Script birthday guard. I'm, I'm not going to read that just because it's a lot of fucking notes. Carve relief fragment three. There's a girl carved on it. So I'm guessing this is the piece that we needed to get from um this area because we got to go to like two more areas. I'm pretty sure. Oh, we can leave now. Okay. So what was the... What was the camera stand for then? Who was that? Looking kind of. Never mind. I was about to say looking kind of good though. Recent movie The Flutter Feathers premieres on the big screen, planned by critics nationwide for being extremely anticlimactic and having a good, having a poor script. Prize singer retires from spotlight to devote life to family. 
Gone Lei Fang says farewell to entertainment business. So I'm guessing this is her in 1980. She retired and we wrote this shitty ass movie in 1982. Let's go to 1985. This was the year of the moose. I mean, the year of the ox. Hockey in the back with the chopped cheese. What's up? Oh yeah, light the candle. Uh, I'll Sean travel guide. Lock suitcase. Okay, so we we're gonna need a key. Bro, that wind is fucking with me, bro. Let's light that up. Let's light those. Get some get some brightness in here. Okay. It's looking pretty lit in here. Let's go in the kitchen. We're gonna wait to look at that. Wine brew draw, wine brew doodles. Drawing by Mason based on my wine poem. Shoes and crown and red dress are the basic elements of a superstar. So we got the shoes. Here's this. Poem attached to wine pot. My beloved child, this wine will follow you. Sweet and ripe. Brewing in the pot, mother's three blessings. Wishing your silhouette, embraced by silk. Wishing your hair, illuminated by stars. Wishing your steps, admired by all. As I await patiently, let time mold you into a luscious jewel. Yeah, it sounded like somebody was banging on the door. They won't though. They won't though. Let's go. I made Shin back in here. Ceramic doll. Essay, my family. My family do make Shin. There are three people in my family, my father, my mother, and I. My mother is a housewife who likes to sing while she is cooking. My mother used to be a famous star. Every song she sings sounds perfect. My father is a screenwriter. He writes a lot of words every day. He often works late and I can't bother him when he works on, or my mother will scold me. Although I am sick and I can't go to school often, mom and dad always take care of me at home. My mom says if I get better, I'll be able to play outside more often. I love my mom and daddy. I wish, I wish for us to have a healthy and loving life. Bro, this is fucking crazy, bro. You fucking suck. Like, I don't even want to play as this nigga no more, bro. Okay. I tell you, there's not much scary that it is like, um, the story, bro. Like, the jump scares ain't that crazy. Dude, this game is a little older. I don't feel like reading that. I did a lot of reading this episode. Oh, she's gone now. Oh, so she's on timing now. Okay, so we did what we needed to do here. Let's go to 1986. Um, photo, blur photo, another can be made out. Oh, it definitely can. Somebody playing a piano. Oh, single list camera. So now we got the camera. We not about to read that. I'm sorry, but my throat hurts. We've been reading a fuck ton. So I should have came here first then. This sound is, is crazy. It's killing me, bro. Who the fuck is clapping? Cause she scared me. Essay my dream. My dream is to become a child star because my mom is a superstar. 
When she sings, I sing along, and my daddy and my mom says I sing very well. I hope I can sing to everyone on TV one day. So I go to singing classes every week. I often participate in singing competitions. My father says, as long as I work hard, everyone will be able to hear my sing, me sing. I also wanted to go out and play with my parents. They are always so busy every day. When I grow up, I'll take them out for fun all the time. What a good daughter. What a great fucking daughter. Yeah, you fucked up. You should feel it. So he didn't even he couldn't even pay the fucking bills with your shitty ass writing, bro. And you wouldn't let your wife like pitch in to help? How many times I gotta hit this goddamn button? Oh, we're just supposed to hold it. I was tapping it. Why didn't it tell me that? You obviously can't. This is crazy, bro. Now you're regretting everything you fucking did. Mm. And this nigga had a nerve to buy a watch. He says, search your mouth. This is fucking insane, bro. I genuinely don't know what I'm supposed to say, bro. This game has me speechless, and this is the first time that this has happened. Where well, I genuinely have no commentary to give. The story is speaking for itself. And you smoke fucking cigs. Insane work. Insane fucking work. Dark as a bitch. Oh, we do got a record. Uh, where is it? Oh, no, not the shoes. Is this her singing? She's singing.
what? Baby girl. And then it changed the way that shit sound. Now her eyes are crossed out, bro. Look at the walls. This shit sounds crazy in my ear. I ain't got these fucking eyeballs and shit. Let's get the fuck out of here, bro. That music. That music is unfucking bearable. Eight, eight, eight. Let's just keep going, bro. I'm low key ready for this game to be over. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I think I was already in here. I was. I already been in there. What is that? Letter to school, to school dean. On the issue of my child making frequent non-attendance, I reiterate that my intentions are not to disrupt the school trip arrangements as her cons as her contest date nears we've had to step up the amount of training she is receiving i have no doubt you've witnessed the exceptional talent and charm on tv these attributes must be properly cultivated and developed every single minute of training is crucial to her growth her health and mental well-being is also of great importance the cold front comes in along from the shore Around this time of year, Machine is prone to illness and will not risk all s any setbacks for her competitive readiness. I'm positive you won't, wouldn't want to see that happen. Thus, just as before, I will have to withdraw her attendance from this trip. Rest assured, I will arrange a separate educational outing at another time. I am confident there are comparable trips we can go on that will be both instructive and fun for her. Please be understanding and considerate of Machine's particular needs. So what I'm understanding is now, and it's getting harder and harder to continue this game, is it seemed like her mom also wasn't that good because she was trying to live out her dream through Machine. The dad was just, was not in her life, was in her life, but not in her life. The mom gave up her career to be in her child's life. But in the process of doing that, she was trying to train the kid up to be basically her, what she wanted to achieve in her career that she didn't get to achieve because she had a child. So both of them are fucked up in a way. Please don't be on the seesaw with me. Uglier than a bitch. I ain't gonna lie. Was, uh. No, it was the second one. Huh? Was it? 
Was it this one or was it 19? No, it was this one. It was this one. This is the one with the camera in it, right? Yeah, man. They were both fucked up parents at the end of the day. Yeah. All right, bro. They don't care about your little snack. Let's push the camera. Oh, we get to play? Oh, look at our little fingers. That's fire. That's fire. <laughs> Still sad though. I'm sure this photo will bring back good memories someday. Yeah. You're cooked though, buddy. You're cooked. It's already too late. You done already fucked up something good that you had over you know i i'm all about chasing your dreams don't get me wrong i do that with youtube one day i hope to be you know pretty pretty damn big you know what i'm saying bring a lot of cheer and joy and happiness to a lot of people through my games uh gameplays and stuff like that but at the cost of family money financial not being able to pay my rent or anything like that that's genuinely just like crazy like i i don't i don't know another way to put it is it's just kind of fucking crazy like you only got one life and you need to cherish the people that love you the people you love what the hell is this <laughs> Mother-in-law's letter to my beloved daughter, Li Fang. Marriage is a process of growth and learning. Disputes between husband and wife are inevitable. Your father and I have also walked this path. Life can be messy, relationships erratic. Uh, but with old age, you begin to foster acceptance. If you choose to leave and come home, however, word will certainly get around. As a celebrity, no doubt, you will know how damaging gossip can be. Your child is still young and needs to have a proper family. I urge you to reconsider your rash decisions and think of her well-being. I know he can be stubborn sometimes, but you don't have to clash with him on every little thing. Let bedroom quarrels stay in the bedroom. Minor disputes can always be taken care of, of civil, civilly out of sight. Take care of yourself, mom. Oh my God. So she was trying to, so did, did she leave? Like, did she, did the... Did she die or did she just, um, I still don't understand if she passed away or not, or she just said, fuck it. I'm done with this relationship and left. All right, let's go back here. Let's see if this is the way we need to go. Yeah, so the doll is here. School Correspondence Journal 2, Thursday, June 13th, 1985. It's boring at home. The same stuff keeps playing on TV, but I'm sick, so I can't go to school. I've been to so many doctors, but I'm still not feeling well. I have to write in my journal because my classmates do too. Friday, June 14th, 1985. Today, I have to feed daddy's around a fish. 
it must be sad being stuck in this fish tank just like me in the house. What is this? Button label alarm clock. Button label do machine. That's creepy. Door. I know I'm not sick anymore. You promised to take me to the So she's basically just been trapped in a fucking house. <coughs> Television. Just a never ending cycle. Do machine. Disease prevention is a civic duty to the of health care. Does she have like some type of rare disease, bro? Now she's going over here. Storming outside. This is sad, man. Take pills. Fish is what the fuck? Marble fish eye. <laughs> so obviously we're gonna need that for something. I would assume we need to go to the next place now. Let's see if there's anything else back here. I don't think it would be though, cause I think we got jump scare back here already. But we're going to check just to make sure. The fuck is in here? Machine. Oh, it's the marble. Let me see. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is cool. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't even gonna lie to you, dog. Uh -huh. Let's go. Oh, right there. Oh, no. Whoa. There we go. There we go. There we go. Easy. Easy. Now we got a key. Suitcase key. Hidden suitcase by machine. She got a strong ass jawline. Okay. I knew it had to be something else left in there. I didn't think that would be the only thing. Oh, the suitcase right here. Uh-huh, what's in there? Storybook. Flowers and love. May she always request I read this to her bedtime.
Oh, she want me to read it to her. That's crazy. That's fire though. I can't read that. I can't speak that language. Shoo shoo shoo. Baba lay da liela. Tintin sen ling li chu xin li chi hao da hao da de san chu. Baba de gong jian jun jun ming zhong san chu de jiao. San chu hao shen chi. Ta chong le guo lai. Yong li ba 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 zhong dao le. Now you finally want to be a father. 回家后，小女儿莎莎不眠不休的照顾爸爸，但是爸爸的身体总是好痛好痛。帮爸爸擦药、喝汤都没有用，躺在床上好多天、好多夜，爸爸的病都好不起来，莎莎难过的睡不着了。他决定要出门寻找治好爸爸的方法。莎莎翻山越岭，到了丰饶神的宫殿。丰饶神的宫殿是一座金色的大房子。在森林的正中央，大门就开着，只要是森林的居民，都可以自己进去。莎莎说：“求求你，治好我爸爸的病。”丰饶神说：“这是一种神奇的花，只要它盛开，再严重的病痛都会痊愈哦。”丰饶神给了莎莎一颗种子。但是，你得用最珍贵的东西灌溉它。风饶神说：“嗯。”莎莎心想：“爸爸有说过，全世界最珍贵的神水就在天空树上。”莎莎启程了，她走出风饶神的宫殿，她来到小森林，一路向前。Is this a real like folklore? Like, is this really something that, um, you know, like how we got? What what do we got? Like the boy who cried wolf and shit like that. Like kind of like that. Oh shit! I didn't know we was actually playing this, John. Or Johnny Appleseed, some shit like that. <laughs> Tick the apple, big ass bear. Let's go. I'm smart. Can I pick the apple back up? I'm weak. <laughs> She's the bear going off to school. How wholesome! Very, very wholesome. We need more of that today, bro. They really going at it though. Hey, relax, motherfuckers. Or I'll turn you into some 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 steaks. Uh oh.
Damn, she got bunnies, don't she? I'm weak. She pretend to be a deer. <laughs> this is crazy, bro. This is crazy, bro. It's hella funny. I wish I had a kid sometime. y'all enjoying this video i know we're an hour and 30 something minutes in and i haven't even really been talking to y'all or really been giving any type of commentary but this game is fucking crazy i really do hope y'all been enjoying this that's a big owl So how the hell do we get up there? Feed at this. I must say, you could have ate the acorn. Caterpillar. She said, can they have some chocolate instead? She is too cute. Too cute. 怎么会? 神水竟然早就已经干掉了。没有最珍贵的水,就没有办法让花开了。爸爸不忍心看莎莎这么难过嫩芽长出枝叶 We dead ass need more games like this, bro. Some of these hard games now. My throat dry. It's literally just walking, bro. No story whatsoever. 爸爸的病好了 And now we got the tool. Missing colored in something of discarded in the description. Oh, she's sleep. Uh. Yo, whoever made this game, bro. 
This is this is fucking amazing. I I can't even lie, bro. This is dead ass like a great game, bro. Story wise, like I haven't really been getting scared or spooked. I think it was like a couple in the beginning, but story, bro. It, it's I don't know. It's seemed like one of the best games I ever played. The horror games I've ever played. Cause I like a good story, bro. Birthday photo. That's the photo that we took for my birthday that year. Machine played Home Sweet Home. The date at the bottom reads 0716. Bro, I literally been lost for so long until I realized that it was a flower pot here, and then we got the tulip from her so we're gonna give um what is this this is fragment three we're gonna put the tulip in there and see what happens i hope it blossoms beautifully in the future all right Let's go out here. Let's see. If anything has changed. Anything has changed. Ooh, okay. So now we have all the pictures up here for this one. We're missing one over there and we're missing two over here. Oh, but this is different though. It has the tulips now. So let's walk through here and see what's different. Oh yeah, this is a whole different area. This is going to be a long video. Hopefully, y'all are enjoying this. Today is my birthday. Today, my body is still not good. I have to sit all day on the floor. It's really hard. But there is a good thing. It is that my father gave me a present. It's a book of stories. When I sleep, he always reads it to me. I don't talk about it. I made the story very funny. It's really fun. My father taught me the flowers in the story. 收据用完了，我们就拿爸爸不要的高纸来用。一开始折得很丑，可是爸爸很认真教我，真的好开心。而且折了很多魔法的郁金香后，我的呼吸就变得很顺，真的好神奇哟、哦！我偷偷把最漂亮的一朵藏在书里面，这样写藏尼故事的时候，爸爸就会看到了。See what happens when you actually be a good father. It makes your daughter feel good. Script tulip, close up. In the faint candle lit. In the faint candlelight, the husband sits disheartened at the writing desk. Husband monologue, oh, whatever. I'm not gonna read that. We got curve fragment part two. So we already have the third one. Music. So now we have the third one and the second one. So all we need now is the first one. Oh, that was quick. Let's put that flashlight back out. Just in case, you never know. You never know. So now this is closed. So I will assume that everything is done in here all right y'all so the only thing i could think of is it was a pot in here and maybe we could put the the dress and the crown and stuff yes we can because if if this didn't work i didn't know what else the hell could work genuinely i was lost bro like a whole 30 minutes Looking forward to the day when we can open it. Okay. Yeah, so I would guess that's everything in here because that's the tulip room. We already did that part. So. Yeah, we got all three of those. That's blank now. So we're gonna go to, oh yeah, this is different. This wasn't like this at first. 
Or this wasn't like that when we just came through here. Oh yeah, this is definitely something different. It's so fucking sad. What the fuck is that? 好久没有这样了因为我以前病得最重的时候是给何老师看过才好起来的所以爸爸很信任何老师妈妈说不要太相信那个可是爸爸相信所以我也相信我要努力赶快好起来did he throw her in there? Why the fuck would you throw your daughter in there? Script six, love makes a family. Wife, sweetheart, you are our treasure. You must realize mother and father have stopped our future on us or stake the, our future on you when we are old and can no longer walk you will be able to provide for us right understood mother close up view of the wife's ornamental crest silk garb and gilded shoes wife promise mother that you will achieve renown and these valuable items will be yours child thank you mother i promise i will take your wish lightly i, I will not take your wish lightly bro i can't read right now This is different. 85, 86, 87, 88, Alright, I think we're done in here. Yeah, I think we're done in that room. We can definitely go here now, because it wasn't doing that before. What the fuck? Bro, let me open the goddamn door. Why are you crying? Oh, we're running, bro. Oh, we're running. I'm out. I'm out. Mm -hmm. I don't even know where we're going. I just know I don't want to be near you. But damn sure. Oh, yeah. I'm getting better with my mouse and keyboard skills. I told y'all it was just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. Okay. I don't even know where we're supposed to be going. Oh 
she got back that way somehow. Uh, so we go this way now. Or maybe we supposed to get caught, but I don't want to risk getting caught. And then me losing where I was supposed to go. Yeah, we ain't opened this door yet, so. I guess that's how you know you're on the right track. Yeah, I would assume so. We hauling ass though. Let's get it. Okay, we made it out. We made it out of the trenches. She gonna be in this bitch with us. Oh my God, bro. I'm at, damn. Oh, yeah, she coming to get you. Oh yeah, that's our wife. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, baby. You could have, you could have kept being a movie star. Then we just left her as when well, she turned back to normal. She gonna be in this motherfucker with us. Not them playing my wife as the elevator music. I hope my gameplay is not stuttering because my computer is really fine. I got to upgrade pretty soon. I think it's just my RAM though. I think my GPU is good, but the RAM I think is... I need to upgrade that. <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音> 你能想象吗？被自己的丈夫当成妖魔鬼怪。So she was possessed。内心从小就爱黏着爸爸，父女俩三天两头就往老师那边跑，我根本没办法。所以我决定，这次演出之后，我要带着一家子离开那里，去一个平静点。<clears throat> so the house was haunted the whole time and it possessed her and probably possessed me she and got them sick but we was the only one who didn't get affected by the illness at least that's what it seemed that was the case based off the dialogue of what she was just saying Oh my god. Hello, baddy. Hello, boo thing. We really sold. I ain't gonna lie. She was bad. We sold the bag, bruh. Hmm? Let's get up out of here. Right down that shit, bruh. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. I just lied. I'm sorry. I'm tired. Might as well say it's three o'clock in the morning. Hello. 
We finally get to see her perform. Such a beautiful voice. Just like your mom. So beautiful. You know, it'd be tough if that was the Mamo Ben. she's saying but i could appreciate good music when i hear it this fire there the whole fucking time that just ruined my fucking vibe brody may Shin, i'm sorry that shit was fire it was gas the lighter isn't in need here What happened? I missed that machine. I don't like this machine. Now we're machine. Was it just a dream? I'm so confused. Real people? Medical order. Patients x-ray and blood recognized as normal. No physical ailments observed. Recommend referral to psychiatric department. So she was crazy this whole fucking time. It's still not over. Jesus. Dig a. Hey, you get your money for what you pay for. 
心这次真的有这么严重吗？你别慌，赶快带来给我看。我们寝室直呼观音，求求看有没有血。不要担心，照我说的做。上一次治好了，这一次一定也可以。They need to make a part two, bro. We about to do an exorcism. So we gave up our soul for our daughters. You have not seen anything. If we did, W fucking pops. You have seen the fire? That is Mei Xin's soul. The fire is how? The fire is flashing. 代表他现在魂不附体。还有看到什么？有看到眉心吗？那你要找，看有没有你女儿的痕迹，看有没有可以通行的地方。We're trying to find our daughter's soul. This is crazy, bro. I didn't think this game could get any crazier, but I guess now we're in purgatory looking for her soul. 有光就跟着光走，有看到什么就讲出来，看看有没有美心留下的东西。I really wish we could sprint. If you haven't already, or if you made it to this far, I love you. Hopefully, you enjoy the video. The waters I was passing, the ferry I was transport. I request him to lead the way forward. Now. 放水灯的河流，有没有可以通行的地方？河上有沙洲，沙洲是此呼观音的化身，它要当你的路，你走过去。Are these like um? Don't they over like in other like Asian countries and stuff like that? This is how they do funerals, right? Where they float the thing in the water, float the uh lantern and stuff in the water. I'm not sure, but I think I've seen it somewhere before. I think that's how they do their funerals. I didn't really need the boat to guide me here. Yes, I do. Oh yeah. We're definitely in purgatory. This this is literally the craziest hard game I have played. No bullshit. Indie hard game. Craziest one. Might be the craziest just in general. I, was, I literally was not expecting any of this. The archway. Is this the thing? Then you should walk on I humbly invoke Chiga. God, I don't want to say that wrong, so I'm gonna just let them say it. I tried already. Gong Yin, Chigu Guan Yin. 
And I know I said it wrong. Oh my God, we're still going. 陆先生，这是地狱惩罚罪人的地方，这边和你没有关系，不要碰任何东西，赶快走过去。别担心，你女儿不在这里。Okay. So where is she? Who is talking to me? Who are you? Are they holding up the bridge for eternity? They're sinners. You just have to watch your steps. Damn, bro. Imagine this being your job in hell, bro. You just gotta hold up a bridge forever. I really hope this is not glitching, cause on my other monitor it looked like it's like it's glitching, but I'm not sure. Alright, let's go. We're still walking, bro. 你要找到往上走的路，这条路会带你走到内心深处。And we got another save point. Y'all not gonna see this, but this gameplay is like really three hours long because I didn't got lost a couple times. 你的元神就在里面。等一下，你要用元神去感应慈姑观音。I had to figure it out, so I'm gonna have to cut a lot of stuff out. This is gonna be a lot of editing. This video ain't coming out probably the day that I, I recorded. 进门之后就要靠你自己。不管听到什么，都不要理他。有什么事情就念慈姑观音的心咒。Okay. I'm just trying to find my daughter, bro. Get to where I need to go. Hey, hey. Fuck you. Du Feng Yu. Look, this here is me. Two years ago, you don't remember me anymore. Do you remember that flower? Stop talking to me, bro. You can't sprint neither. Like I'm literally just walking, bro. You still like that flower? 天天盯着他看，每次掉了一片花瓣，他就拔自己的指甲去重新完美它。You， 花黄了，枯了，他就拿自己的血来浇。That's insane。终于让小花开花结果，他就是那么宝贝他。可是我告诉你，小花终究是小花。结了果以后，它承受不了重量，终于还是被压死。很遗憾吧？但我们都是作者，不是吗？现在还有机会救他，去吧。就在前面，去挽回你的希望。I know I deserve it. Do I have to choose who she is? 长腿有花瓣都很好啊，不要这样乱说，爸爸做的很好，爸爸做的最好了。全世界我最喜欢爸爸了。爸爸，我们一起出去玩。爸爸，我想要出去玩。爸爸，我想要出去玩。爸爸，爸爸，爸爸，爸爸，爸爸，爸爸，爸爸，爸爸，爸爸，爸爸，爸爸，爸爸，
This is creepy. Fire, we remember the chant. It worked. <laughs> Okay, if you say so. I ain't gonna lie, the ending to this is kind of a little OD, bro. It's a little overkill. Like, I feel like they could have ended it, you know, a little better, but hopefully this is the last part. Hopefully, I had a great time. Mission. Give me a spoon. I need to make sure so in go here. Hello, Dr. Mission. Sing some long be. Sir, for two from you, Father. You're seeing what Guang Ming, Hua Ai, you're seeing how in my. Oh my god. Never mind. What the fuck are we doing? We took out our eye. We gotta look like this in order to see that. Okay, now we can see. Do we pick that up or like, what do we do? We just keep going. Oh, we gotta go this way. So we're about to take out our other eye probably. I would assume that's what we're about to do. Yep, she's offering me something else. We about to have to take our other eyeball. Now we're about to be blind. Legally. Okay, what's this? So we better take our tongue out. This is crazy. Am I playing? Do we gotta do something else? Probably. It's no way you can even make noises. You don't have a tongue. You should have been a good father. You wouldn't have had to do none of this. Now 
what's this, bro? We just torturing ourselves at this point. We gotta cut our hand off. You already gave up blood. You took your tongue out. <clears throat> this is probably the most least painful thing you did. It would be crazy if this didn't bring her back. Gongling Rite Spiritual Linking The Gongling Rite is a ritual that has been passed down from centuries. With the guidance of the spirit medium, it is possible to chant an incantation and enter the spirit realm. The Yang Chi Palace resides in a person's inner uh, conscience. By observing their own Yang Chi Palace, uh, one can balance their soul, strengthen their aura, and then predict and shape their fate. To initiate the Gong Ling Rite, one must first write down their address and horoscope. The spirit medium will answer all, any question and guide the host to their intended answers. Common questions include asking about one's career, fortune, and health. If someone is seriously ill, they can also ask for healing and recovery. Okay. Fuck is that? Oh my god, I'm tired of reading, bro. I'm not reading it, bro. Consultant recording. <clears throat> I just gotta be real with y'all. I'm so tired of reading, bro. Right, let's pop that in there. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to read that too. Woman 需要什麼我都可以做,我會更努力辦。麻煩老師跟我說要怎麼辦,不要緊張,這個一定有方法。我會再教你,拜託拜託,喝了。Well, at least outside, it kind of sounds like regular. 我想確認一下,你告訴我的方法真的有用嗎?有有有,一定有。我都還在念經,可是那女的還是不可能要離婚啊。they about to cut me off again? You gonna cut me off again? I guess not. 
But as I was gonna say, you can hear the dogs and stuff barking in the background. So I would assume that we're back more into like a regular uh, lifestyle kind of. Anything in here of use? No. You hear the dog barking. It still look pretty fucking creepy in here though, so. Yep, and here go the music. It's blocked off, so. Downstairs we go. Downstairs we go. Bro, get down the stairs. I think my keyboard's about to die. Could it keep stopping? I gotta make it to this door because I don't have no batteries. So I'm gonna be asked out if I don't make it to this door. <laughs> Keyboard. Why are we not enough? Like, I'm not doing this. I'm literally just holding the move button. Bro, it's not enough. Like, this is a very fucking good game, though. Like, I'm going to try to chop it up for y'all to where it looks nice. Even though I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all already seen this. But if you're watching it for the first time, just like I'm playing it for the first time, I'm trying to make it look good for you. Mation's doodle is a drawing by Mation. Can't go through there, obviously. Fucking handprints on the walls and shit. It's dirty as hell in here. Like somebody smeared shit on the wall. Okay. My keyboard is literally dying. Second by second. The two look. We gotta walk to it. This shit is bright. <笑>我已经有治好病的方法了 
Oh, but I said, don't tell me they started me over, bruh. Walking around these goddamn tulips. So I'm guessing that's the end of the game. This was fucking good, bro. From the music, to the voice acting, to the narrative. Everything was pretty much fire. Other than the last little part, I didn't like that. When you had to do the sacrifices. I feel like they could have made that a little bit closer, but I know they did it for dramatic effect or to the immersion of you doing that. But I did like that you control him pulling out his tongue and stuff like that. And that's May Sheen. She's back. Our baby girl made it back. We had to sacrifice ourselves, but... make a part two but i think they don't want to ruin it because you know sometimes make the part two and it's not as good as the original and then you know people talk shit about it or whatever This is not copyrighted, but I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to take that out. But if I don't take it out, y'all know y'all just seen what I'm talking about. What a great fucking game, bro. Papa, we Yeah, so that's gonna do it for devotion, bro. This was a very, very fucking good game, bro. I was not expecting to enjoy this as much as I did. It wasn't really much so scary, but the narrative, the moral of the story, 
characters, the voice acting. Everything in this game was pretty much flawless from an indie developer. Like, I really can't ask or really nitpick anything in this game. Like, it was, it was very fun. I really hope y'all enjoyed And y'all let me know if y'all got any other games like this that y'all want to see me play. I found this by myself randomly scrolling YouTube or whatever because I couldn't find nothing to play. But neither here nor there. I hope y'all have a great night, a great afternoon, whatever time y'all watching this video. It's been the boys you came. And we hit 1K. <laughs>